Hello everyone, it's me, Lily Sanders, uh, author of Truth to Triumph, uh, uh, life coach, and also uh, speaker. And uh, that, by the way, is my parrot in the background. That's Pippi. And um, thought leader in the makings. So I wanted to come on here and just do a, uh, a video that I feel is um, uh, topical and important at the same time. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people um, posting uh, their their feelings, and I can appreciate that, and I do appreciate that. Um, I'm, I, obviously, I see, you know, uh, due to the this global pandemic, I see all of the fear that has set in and uh, continues to rise. So what I would like to suggest is that, um, and this, by the way, people that know me, they know that I'm always speaking about love and self-love and and, um, and um, but I want to really be clear about something and very transparent that fear is is what's feeding all of these emotions right now right we're in panic people are people are worried and, and people are upset and, and, and people are depressed and, and, and sad and um, some people are just kind of feeling a little melancholy and whatever whatever the emotions may be they're all flying around it all stems from fear. Um, but, you know, for someone that is a, a, a speaker and a, a thought leader and someone that really promotes uh, love and self-love and, um, and, and lives that lifestyle, I would like to say this about that. Love is not, it's not passive. It is not weak. And it certainly does not hide behind a rock called fear. So this is going to be my tough love statement to you all. And that is going to be to get a grip. Because when you really are exercising and really are in a place of love and self love, that means that it's going to, it, it, it should be the energy that reigns. It should be what takes precedence, not just precedence, it should be what really overrides everything else because, tr because truly uh, love trumps fear every time. So what's going on right now is we're listening to that little, little liar on the shoulder, which I talk about that in Truth to Triumph, so most people that follow me, they know about that. Um, and that little liar on your shoulder is, is fear. And it, 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 it's always feeding you things every single second of the day, especially when things are going really good in your life. It's, it's, it never misses an opportunity to come knocking. But what I'm gonna to suggest to you is that you learn to blow that little liar off the shoulder because um, once we start believing everything that we're being fed, we start to forget really what this is all about who you are, you forgot, and, and, and you start to forget um, your whole reason and purpose for being here. Now, um, I also might suggest that we have to realize that this is really just a life situation. It is, and I don't mean just, I don't, I'm not, I'm not uh, making light of it, but in the large scheme of things, uh, it, we will we will get through this uh, it, it is not going to be the end of the world um, and we will definitely learn to be bigger and better once we come out on the other side right um, and this is not a you know opportunity for growth speech it's a lot more than that so what I'm going to suggest to you is that you see everything that's going on right now in, in, in the world, and I do want you to take it personal. And you know in which way? I'd like you to actually do a self-inquiry. Do a self-inquiry with yourself and ask innate, ask what's in here. Ask self, the universe, God, whatever works for you. Ask. What does this mean for me? Meaning, what does this situation that I am in right now, what does this mean for me? 
the answer, that's where your growth will come. And, um, you know, we're all in a story right now. What's interesting is that, you know, we're all in the story together. But then there's all these little sub stories, right? So, you know, like the whole world, you know, we're, we're facing this pandemic, in, 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 including Pippi. And, but like we all have our own stories because of it. We all have, um, it all has, you know, affected us differently because of it. So because we are all in this story together and because we are all um, individuals and, 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 and relate to this differently or are affected by it differently, I'd like you to do that self-inquiry. And so in recap, I want you to ask yourself, what does this mean for me? And the other thing I wanted to say was that Okay, so maybe this isn't the happiest time right now in your life. I get it, okay? Um, but happiness is, it's, it's temporary anyway. I mean, like, I mean, it's not, it's never permanent, is it? I mean, we can think about so many different times in our life when we would think when we were really happy and other times in our life when, like, you know, not so happy and then, you know, other times in life when we're like, totally miserable, Right? So, so, so we know that. So it proves that, that our, our life experiences really prove that happiness is not, it's not permanent. So what I'd like to suggest to you is to practice happiness, please. It takes practice every day, every moment. And even in the, the worst situations, um, I, I, I truly believe that we can always find one little condition in, in, in any life situation where we can find a morsel, an inch, a space, a breath of happiness. And so in that practicing of happiness, um, then we can go from experience to experience and at least find those little moments in happiness, you know, little moments of happiness in each experience. Um, you know, I, I could think of, you know, for me, um, one of my most um, saddest times uh, of, of my life, uh, and I have not had too many happy stories. Uh, again, you would know that if you read Truth to Triumph, and that's just a little bit of my stories. Um, you know, I, I, could, I, I, I never look back, but I could look back and say, well, you know, where can I, where could I have found, you know, little pieces of happiness within those really tragic moments? Because if I had done that, of course I know how to do this now, but if I had done that, I would have gotten to the same place, but I would have gotten there peacefully. Does that make sense? In other words, we're, we're, we're winding up, we're going to the same place anyway. So why not go there feeling happiness and peace? And with that said, be blessed. Bye.